First off, I'd like to thank everybody for your time and for being involved. This is the most people that I've ever seen up at the retirement board since I've been here. <laughs> and it's, a, it's a pretty short stint. Um, five years ago, the financial markets took a, a turn for the worse. And the financial health of our pension system was, was called into question. Uh, today, the story couldn't be different. We're back at near pre-crash highs in the financial health of our pension system. Looks good. Of course, the future is always highly uncertain, but things look better than they did five years ago. Our job as trustees is to protect and safeguard our pension system and the investments of our pension system, which pay your retiree benefits and those benefits of people who will someday rely on us for their financial security. What we try to do is minimize risk while maximizing returns. And investment risk can come in many forms. It comes in the form of business practices that our investments engage in. And those business practices can be risky, and they can make an investment a poor investment. As a trustee, uh, I'm very concerned about those business practices and any illegal business practices that would jeopardize the financial health of our pension system, retiree benefits, and the future <coughs> of this system. For many people in this room, and just in general, uh, society, I know that our financial health is pretty closely tied to our monthly mortgage payments. And for most people, buying a home is generally the largest financial decision that any of us will ever make. But it's also an emotional decision. So for those of you who have had to go through foreclosure, I, I can only imagine the frustration of what that's like. I know I get frustrated when I just have to call my car insurance company just to file a simple claim. So I imagine you take that and you multiply it by 100, and it's a whole different level of frustration. Um, to prevent this cycle from reoccurring and happening again, and for things, for the foreclosure process to happen all over again, real change needs to be effected. And the only real way to do that is through the legislative process. So for those of you who, in this room, have been in dialogue with the Board of Supervisors, your officials in Sacramento, Washington, D.C., I encourage you to continue down that road. I know some local politicians have taken an interest in this whole market cycle. Uh, but in the meantime, as our legislative bodies sort through this and figure out what's going to happen, we as trustees, as a board, will continue to closely monitor the financial health of our system and all the investments that are in it and their business practices. Thank you.